Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, today I have some interesting news regarding NVIDIA's RTX 3090. Now, apparently, a leak has appeared on 3D Mark, and we have the performance, well, an early performance look at the RTX 3090. Now, the last few weeks, we've been getting a lot of information on the new line of GPUs from NVIDIA, and we've seen the shroud, we've seen the non traditional PCB that appears to have a traversal co processor that will do all of the calculations for ray tracing now if this is true i expect the ray tracing performance on these new rtx cards to be far superior than what we saw on the 2080 ti a lot of early rumors stated that the new line of rtx cards from nvidia would have 50 to 60 percent better performance now i've always kind of thought that this was regarding the ray tracing performance a lot of gamers thought that this would be for normal rasterization of games now according to this latest leaked benchmark the rtx 3090 is 26 percent and faster than the RTX 2080 Ti. Now that is a good metric, but a lot of gamers are a little bit disappointed. I've seen some gamers saying, no, I was expecting it to be 45% increase over a 2080 Ti. 26% increase and a 50 to 60% increase with ray tracing performance, I think is a win. But the reason why I think gamers want it to be more efficient or have more performance than 26% over the 2080 Ti is because Big Navi is on its way and this RDNA 2 based GPU from AMD is expected to yield huge performance increase over the previous generation. Now, if NVIDIA is only giving you 26% increase, I would expect AMD's next generation cards to be quite close, if not possibly beating the RTX 3090. Now, if we look back to January, there was an early benchmark that was leaked for a RDNA 2 based GPU. Now, it was 17% faster than a 2080 Ti, and the 2080 Ti results were actually a highly overclocked card. So that's pretty impressive, 17% increase over that. Now that was an early engineering sample, so that was far from being optimized. The latest drivers, the codes, everything is not running smooth on that GPU. Now five months after that, I would expect the performance to increase. Now we have a situation where we can see the RDNA 2 base cards having a higher increase over the 2080 Ti, and in fact, beating out Nvidia's RTX line of GPUs. Now I know it's a little bit far-fetched, but it's not impossible. AMD has been very aggressive lately, and word behind the scenes is that Nvidia is actually worried about the RDNA 2 GPUs. So I find it really interesting that the 3090 will only be 26% faster than the 2080 Ti, although that is still a good metric. Is it enough to hold off AMD coming after their top line of GPUs? Anyways, I wanna know what you guys think about all of today's news. Let me know in the comment section down below. Personally, I think that AMD and Nvidia, their next generation cards are going to be very competitive and I think that's good for all gamers because it will force Nvidia to lower the prices of their GPUs. Now they make great products but their prices are high because they have no competition. So competition from AMD I think would bring the prices down on these new line of GPUs and I think overall it's best for consumers. Once again, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.